Hi everybody, welcome to the next in my series of beginner's guides to server modding on console for Daisy. And in today's video, we're going to talk about events and how to turn them on or off or off and on. So on your server, you have the general loot, you know, your bandages, your shoes, your motorcycle helmet, your weapons that kind of spawning in and out all the time. And then you have your special things that spawn in and out as well. So things like, as you can see here, here you know, the hens, the bears, the wolves, the zombies, or the infected, um, the police cars, uh, the normal cars, and the trucks, the mushrooms, things like that. Um, and you can control whether these uh, spawn in or out. And it's controlled within the events.xml file. So if you want to have access to it, just go over to your server go to the file browser and then you want to go to into the missions folder and then you want to go into Chernerus for Chernerus Enoch for Livonia then you want to go into the DB directory and then you want to work on the events.xml file now you can work on it on the web um, it's probably better off if you can download the file keep a copy in your downloads folder and then copy copy another folder to a working folder and edit that one that way if something goes wrong you've got the original in your downloads folder to re-upload um, so you can then restart your server um, and everything go back to normal so within your events folder, events file kind of you have your opening tag at the top so this just telling Daisy this is the events file and this is an event here kind of goes from the opening argument event name equals ambient hen through to the end of the event there um, and there's lots of other information in here. In this video, I'm not discussing how to increase events or decrease events. It's either turning them on or off. So that's the line we're interested in, active one. Really simple. If it says active one, the event is active. If it's active zero, it's not. So if we were to change the ambient hen active um, flag to zero, and we were to save that, re-upload it to our server, restart our server, then hens wouldn't be spawning in. Now we don't want that because hens are quite good, aren't they? Quite a good source of um, uh, food. Um, where this probably becomes most useful is with some of the seasonal events. So if we, example, look for the static Christmas tree event, we can see at the moment this is not active. But we could do, if we wanted Christmas trees to spawn in around Chernerus or Livonia on our server, we could change that to one. The one I like to have active is the one above it, actually, the bonfire, the static bonfire. This is the one that normally Bohemia Interactive turn on around um, in October, around Halloween, around bonfire night uh, in the UK. Um, so these are the, they look like a load of pallets kind of stacked up on fire, and there's like a witch on top. They look really cool at night, and they spawn in firefighters as well. Although sometimes I change the firefighter to the, um, the priest. I think that's a bit better. And again, if we were to change that to one, then and we would save that, upload it to our server, restart our server, then the bonfires would start spawning in. Just bear in mind that some of these events won't work because Bohemia Interactive will take the code out. Sometimes that happens with things like the the, the Santa sleighs, where we had the, the crash for Santa. That didn't work either. Um, but, but that's it, really. So if there's any events that you think, hmm, I'd like to turn them off, all you've got to do is change active to zero. Or if you want to change some of the seasonal events on early, you change active to one. Save, upload, restart, and there you go. Right, so hopefully you find these videos useful. If you have, hit the like button. Always remember, no matter what question you've got about modding on Daisy, if you put them in the question section, in the comment section below the video, I'll add them to my list because no matter how silly you might think the question is trust me if you're thinking about it there's probably dozens if not hundreds of other people thinking the same thing and wondering about that question and i um, they're a great source of inspiration for the channel for me to to make videos but there we go so thank you very much and i'll see you again soon